Now, Elon Musk's enthusiasm comes just a short time after a big space development in our own backyard. Vice President Mike Pence visited Kennedy Space Center to reveal the team of astronauts who will make up the Artemis program that aims to land women and men on the moon. And back here on terra firma, that means a new name for Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and Patrick Air Force Base. News 6's James Barbero was there. In the eighth meeting of the National Space Council under the Trump administration, Vice President Mike Pence introducing us to the astronauts dreaming of going to the moon. To the heroes of the future, the Artemis generation. Underneath the first rocket built for moon missions, Vice President Pence addresses the astronauts who could return America to the lunar surface. NASA's Artemis program plans to make one of them the first woman on the moon. In just a few short years. The Trump White House gave NASA the ambitious deadline of landing on the moon by 2024. A month from Inauguration Day, there was no discussion today of a Biden administration. Space Florida expects a new presidency would keep this executive body that makes the nation's space policies. But Americans' priorities in space could change. Artemis also needs enough funding from Congress every year. Mr. Vice President, because of your leadership and the leadership of the president, we have a human landing system funded for the first time since 1972. During the Trump presidency, Americans went to space from Florida for the first time since the shuttle program. The president called for the creation of the U.S. Space Force. And even today, there was an announcement of new space policies. This has been a game-changing administration as it relates to space. The Cape is now officially Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The same name change now official at Patrick Space Force Base as well. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.